Hey guys, this is just a um, video about, you know, kind of like ways we can connect, get involved, because it may be a combination of things. It may be, you know, us with you, you with the, us, whatever, you know, I, won't, I don't really like the words ministries, but whatever God's doing, you know, pray about it. Um, just ways we can help each other. Um, I'm going to pray about it too. Uh, my Facebook blew up. 900 friends got another 800 waiting uh, there's ministries all over the place overseas and so it's like man it's kind of overwhelming so that's one area that i want to connect with somebody i need some i could use some technical assistance to say the least or you wouldn't see this lame video of me and my ugly mug um that's one uh there's other ways you know financially you can connect with us uh I've got some businesses, some business ideas I want to connect with people on. So if you're a business guy, let's connect. Come down and have a cup of coffee with us in Dallas. Or if you're in Dallas, you know, call us. And you, you can start with the email. Um, uh, you can email us at jesusisaliveinamerica at gmail.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and just... Kind of want to connect, guys, kind of because it's time to connect the body. There isn't but one body, there isn't but one body, but there's also only one head. The name is Jesus. So we've got to quit trying to be the head and let's just be the body. If you're the knee, be the knee. If you're the arm, be the arm. If you're the hand, be the hand. My wife gets on me for flipping my hands all around. Um, and let's encourage each other, uplift each other, help each other, support each other. Doesn't always have to be money, guys. It can be prayer. It can be just counseling, talking, whatever. Um, it's inter intertwined and interweaved. That's what I'm saying. So I'm pretty open, um, but I do need a lot of help. But I also want to be a lot of help. So, briefly, okay? On my way to some random city called Layton, Pennsylvania, got in a prayer, 2,000 miles away, so I'm kind of on a mission, but part of the way there in some podunk town, Jackson, Tennessee, 6.30 in the morning, I'm ministering to somebody that didn't even been, been in church in a long time, three years, two, three years, but they ministered to me too, guys, so a lot they were hurt really bad by church and everything that they said was legitimate hurt honestly at least from what i was hearing um had a right to be hurt but some of the stuff they said was really profound and he said it was really profound so like I'll, uh, you know, uh, my ears are always in tune. That's why it says, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has saying to the church. So I'm going to listen. It's just as much as I'm trying to talk. That's what I'm saying about the connectivity. I don't know. I don't know what, where this is going to land. Um, like I said, you know, of course I could use finances, but it's a, that's, well, good. That's kind of irrelevant. Moot point. Um some of this stuff sometimes may not take the finances. It might just be the connectivity. It might just be the time. It might just be encouragement. It might just be, you know, we share a cup of coffee together and some cool godly stories. I don't know. But it's out there. I want to get this going, guys. So just email me. Um, maybe I can encourage you. Maybe you can encourage me. We should encourage both. Um, I am going to put out some... I've got three different, two or three different ministries on Facebook that I've met with these people, and I'm kind of looking them up. They seem very legitimate. Um, none of them really asked for anything. One did kind of. I mean, they got a list, um, but it's for an orphanage, and it seems like a really good, good cause. So I'm just going to put it together, guys, and put it out there because it's just part of it. You know, you don't have to. I get it. You know. Um, my wife and I deal with the homeless people. That's one part of our ministry is the brokenness. Look at my, my other YouTubes and the broken and contrite spirit. But we just kind of fit in, okay, because some of the stuff that we've been through and things in our lives. 
whole nother message. But but what I tell people is, yeah, that's cool, noble, honorable cause, the homeless. But what if you're, uh, you know, the CEO of some major company and you got a drunk husband, they got a drunk husband or a kid that has Down syndrome or some horrible disease or somebody on drugs in their family um, or just, you know, a horrible divorce or whatever. They need Jesus too. So the polished people have to go to them. I'm not the polished guy, guys. I'm probably more like Larry the Cable Guy. Just get her done. Pick up the pieces later, kind of, you know, a little raw. So, Matthew 20 goes a long way in this too, guys. Just read that. It's all about the equality. So, use what you got. So, anyhow, that's what I'm doing. I'm using what I got. I got this YouTube. I, the Lord taught, uh, man, I'm technically challenged, guys. Honestly, 90s probably. Te technically, I don't even text people. Be one of the few people in America that doesn't use text. Don't want to jack with it. <laughs> so I need a lot of help too, guys. Okay, so this is part of it. Let's connect some kind of way. Just email me at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. You can blog with us at Jesus is Alive in America.com. Uh, you can just type in Jesus is Alive in America and Google and find us. Share with us. That would help. Um, I've got a couple books out. So, yeah, I need some other areas that I need some help in. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. But here's the two books. And the Lord's got me writing more. And actually, guys, it's kind of how I connotate it. It's like I'm at the bottom of the ocean at that really deep place where it was 8,000 feet. That Trieste or whatever went down there, the deepest part of the ocean. I feel like I'm down there and the Lord's telling me to run a 25, 25 mile marathon. I'm like, thank hey God, pressure's uh, kind of kind of crushing, can't breathe. And you want me to run a marathon? Okay. So my point is this. Okay, recently, and mine seems to be in health, but we all have um, issues and things and stuff that can kind of hinder us or stop us or thwart us from what God's trying to do, whether it's finances or bird or divorce or whatever. Mine just happens to be health. It's a mini strokes, kind of wiped out. They, they said moderate to severe. Kind of took like what half my brain feels like. Like I guess I don't need that part, God. But I do to write these books. But this, I've already wrote two. But it's like, okay, God. So... Long story, just look at the broken and contrite spirit one or through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus because it became messages, honestly, guys. There have been some miraculous healings already in it. Um, but one book is called Jesus, Christ in You, the Hope of Glory. The other one is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. And they're both on Amazon, Kindle. I got email versions of one of them, and I can make an email version of the other one if you want. I can just email it to you. I'm trying to work on maybe how to make an attachment or whatever, not attachment, but a link or whatever to them to, I don't know. Like I said, I, I got some technical challenges. So let's go, come down and have a cup of coffee. Let's talk, come, come over for dinner or whatever. Um, so let's just connect. But if you're, now this one's a plug, but not really. Cause it helped me because I'm like, man, God, how am I gonna do this? You know, kind of on a shoestring budget. I'm not, you know, publisher that want to spend 10 grand or whatever costs just i'm just not gonna just i don't have it to do honestly but <clears throat> so self-published okay well everything's free now it was another site i used but now it's amazon kdp.com amazon kindle direct publishing Guys, I just had to get it in the format that they wanted, which I got some help, so I had to pay somebody a little bit to do it, but I'm sure he did it within two hours. Designed the cover, got pictures off the internet, put everything together, cropped it out accordingly, but put it in their format, which we use Georgia 11. Um, got the file to them. Done deal. 
You charge me anything, guys. I've revised it five times. Lawrence said, just get out there. And it's a lot easier to revise because it was hard copy. It's right in front of me. I can kind of see it and proof it a little bit easier. It just seemed to, you know, or at least proofed it on the computer, of course. But um, so it's out there. It's the second one, for, they're both out there. English isn't the greatest in there, but it's, you know, pretty good. Um, but they're out there. I, they help you get it on Amazon, they help you get it on Kindle, they help you get it overseas on Amazon, all of those sites, and price it and everything. Didn't cost a dime, guys, nothing. Just cost me $3.50 when I order a copy of the book or whatever, you know, so. Um, so help us get, you know, I mean, I need some marketing help with that too, maybe. Maybe that's a connection, I don't know. Or maybe you just need to write your own book. I ran into several people in the ministry, in the church, in different places, one old lady the other day, she was in her 70s, and she had a really good book she was starting. I could tell. I could see it in her face and her spirit. And she was like, I don't know how to do this. I'm like, man, here it is. Easy. Easy peasy. AmazonKDP.com. So maybe that's what you need. I mean, maybe that's part of the connection. I, you know, some of these things, God, guys, God's going to do without money. I'm, so I'm not trying to tell you I need money or finances. Of course I do. We all do. But that's not my point. My point is the connection. Maybe it's me connecting with you, you connecting with me, whatever. I'm pretty open. So email us. Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Love you guys. Um, let's connect. Let's, you know, or share these videos with other people or blog with us or just whatever. You know, sharing would be great. Praying would be great. I really could use all the prayer you can give me because that'll open a lot of doors. That'll clean a lot of this stuff off. That'll help me tremendously. Probably more than anything, honestly. Absolutely. So just pray for me. That would be great. I may never see it. You may never see me. But Or let's just connect. Love you guys.